Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I wanna to talk to you guys about some of the supplies that I got the kids for homeschooling this year. I know a lot of you guys have maybe already started homeschooling, but for us, I think we're gonna wait till after Labor Day, and I just wanna get ready, prepared, um, get all the last odds and ends done before we start. I like to get that done so that I don't have to worry about interruptions when we start schooling. So I just really wanna make sure I focus on that and um, get that kind of stuff done. Okay, can you get a wipe? This is kind of what I'm talking about when it comes to homeschooling. And some of the things that um, we go through with toddlers is the constant meltdowns, keeping it all together, and making sure that everybody is getting taken care of while we homeschool. I got a bunch of kids this year, so I have seven last year, I have seven this year, and I really need to be able to focus on the little ones this year because they're gonna be, yeah, come on. They're the ones that I need to focus on the most this year. Last year, I focused on the big kids and the things that they needed to fit, or, that they needed to accomplish and get done. And then we went through the whole coronavirus and everything like that. So I know a lot of us kind of got a little um, mixed up at the end of the year and trying to get everything accomplished. But this year we're gonna try to do better and get a lot of that uh, done. I'm just gonna sit right here and show you what I got, just because it's gonna be easier for me to be able to show you this way, just because I have everything laid out and I will um, be able to show you a lot easier. I also am gonna be looking at my little cheat sheet here to share with you guys what the cost of everything is. I got two writing notebooks and I'm thinking that Nash and Lachlan can start using this this year. Last year we did a lot of writing and practicing with their alphabet and numbers. I'm thinking that that'll work good for them. And then Declan also could also use this. So we'll see what I wanna do with um, that. Another thing that I noticed there, oh, so I did, I did get three notebooks. So Nash, Lachlan and Declan will be doing that. And Declan's going to be in um, second grade. So he's gonna do more writing this year and he's gonna need a book like that so we can keep track of all his writing. I usually go to the Dollar Tree near us and get the curriculum for the twins when we did that last year. But when I was at Walmart, I noticed that they had some workbooks and stuff there. I usually strictly stick to one curriculum that um, I can use for a majority of the kids. And this time with the twins, I kind of went off a little bit and wanted to try something different. So here is some preschool activity workbooks, and that's okay, it's like three plus. And then this one is first grade, which, yeah. Okay, so this one is with adding and pictures and stuff. So this I saw there while I was getting school supplies. So I'm, I'm gonna try that this year. So I got four of these from Walmart. And I'll see if I can see quick what I spent on that. Okay, so that was a 12 count and they were a dollar a piece. So I got a bunch of these for the kids because um, last year we didn't really have a lot. We only had a couple of these and we didn't do a lot with glue sticks last year. So this year I wanted to do more of that with all them. the glue sticks that I got here were 50 cents each. So that was pretty cool. That's why I bought a bunch of them just because we, you know, we can use them um, all year. And I like it when they do like them big sales because then I can do this and get more. Um, I also got three things of regular glue. My kids just started using regular glue and learning how to use that. Not my older ones, but like Nash and Lachlan, just because 
like I said last year we did um, the monthly subscription art kits and this year we're going to tie some of that in but I just wanted to make sure that we had a lot of glue and let's see if I can see these were 25 cents a piece so that's why I got three of them another thing that I got which is kind of funny I got two things that are kind of cute kind of funny and every year I've always wanted something that I could use to point with and I never ended up getting like a pointer finger or something like that I always see like pointer fingers for teachers and I thought this was cute so I got this for that and a lot of years I here I'm going to show you guys here quick I've always used that bulletin board for like ABCs and then all their coloring projects and things that they can look at through, you know, the years and the crafts that they've done. And I've always wanted to use that for things that uh, we were learning and it never happened because I wasn't able to change that very often. So the thing that I'm going to show you later on is going to help a lot with this. So that's why I got that. And I think that, all right, so this was a dollar, which that's pretty cool. And then another kind of cute thing I got, which my kids are like, mom, what are we going to use this for? I don't really know what we're going to use this for, but they're cute little clips that maybe I can put on some of their paperwork or something on the side of like their notebook that we need to work on or just extra notes and stuff that I can clip onto something. So I just thought that was adorable. I think this one is $3. This one was $3, which really wasn't necessary for us to have this as part of our supplies. I just thought this was a little cute extra. I like to do little cute extra stuff sometimes with the kids. Um, I'm hoping with the first day of school that we're able to do something fun. Last year we were able to do like fall decorations and we had some candies and treats. I'm not gonna probably do that this year, but like probably gonna do some kind of treat thing or something to start out the day. It's gonna be really hard for my kids to transition from being lazy and having fun through the summer versus hurrying up and trying to get work done so I try to always make the first day a little a little bit more fun so that's what I plan on doing um I got one pair of scissors which I'm surprised I didn't get more than one pair we do have a bunch of pairs of scissors here so on my receipt it says that I have two pairs of scissors so I think it just fell out when in my bedroom so I have to go look for that um, but I did get two and they were 50 cents a piece. Another thing that I got at Walmart was these markers. The other thing that I noticed at Walmart, these are not washable ones. And I noticed that the washable ones were like $3 a piece. And I think these were a dollar. Let's see. Markers. They were a dollar a piece. So that's why I picked these and I will deal with them being messy, I guess, that day. So that's all right. Um, and then on here it says, try the Create and Play app free. So maybe I'll look into that and see what that's all about. Another thing that I got is crayons. Now, okay, let me just tell you the price of these first. The price of the crayons were... 33 cents so these were all 33 cents a piece so if anybody has been to my house they would know that i have a really big like crayon bin so we really don't need any more crayons but i just remember when i was younger on how fun it was to have your own box of crayons especially on the first day of school so i wanted my kids to have some new crayons now that was all I got from Walmart. And what I'll try to do is like leave Walmart's total maybe down below right here. And then I'll do Myers and leave the total after I'm done with Myers and then just total it up for you guys. And you'll see what I spent all together. So the only reason why it's a little bit more probably for supplies this year is because 
I bought more. It's just nicer to get the sales at the beginning of the year instead of going through, you know, through the year and then everything is a little bit more higher price. Um, but I actually probably didn't need half this stuff, but I wanted the kids to have something a little extra for the first day of school. Okay, so I'm gonna share with you what I got at Myers. One of the things I got at Myers are notebooks. My kids do a lot of workbook studies, so we don't always need notebooks, but if we wanted to do like art, and I know they have, some of the kids have some art books and stuff that we can use, but these are the more fine line notebooks and they can start writing paragraphs more in notebooks versus in their workbook. So I will share with you how much these costed a piece each note, notebook a piece was 25 cents, so I spent 225 on all of these notebooks. So I, I also got some pencils. I have some jumbo size pencils. I love using these when kids start writing. So we'll probably have Evelyn start using these. Maybe Nash and Lachlan can use these. But um, when you have little kids that are around Evelyn's age, which she's two, they all start to want to do homeschooling also with the big kids. So I like to tie some stuff in for the little kids. I got some fun pencils that have flames on it. So I'm sure the kids are going to want to play with them and then some traditional pencils and I think I have extra pencils somewhere in my homeschool stuff so want some of the pencils I have 50 cents so I'm guessing that these are all the 50 cent ones because there's three here for a dollar fifty and then the bigger pencils were a dollar ninety nine and then it comes with a sharpener um, because I think a lot of times too, it's hard to find them bigger sharpeners. I did buy two. Okay. So I did buy some sharpeners because we go through sharpeners quite a bit. I do have one that kind of sucks to our table and then they use that one, but that one always kind of just gets thrown around. So I'm hoping that maybe the kids can have fun with these. They're little fish ones. And then I also got one that's small and bigger. And um, so if we lose that little one, then we're able to use this. And the sharpener was, pencils were $1.29 and the sharpener was $1.99. And then the little sharpeners are oh, $1.29 a piece also for the little fish ones. Um, I did end up getting one glue stick from there, which was 50 cents. So no different than having it from Walmart. Um, but that's okay. That's okay that I have a lot of glue. I'm fine with that. I got some more colored pencils. So all together I have four, five, six, and that should be good for what we need for this year. And the colored pencils were a dollar a piece. So two dollars for the colored pencils, and that's not too bad. Sorry, I have everything over there. All right. I got three more markers, which I have six all together, and the markers at Myers were a dollar a piece also. So three dollars for these. So Myers and Walmart, I don't really think that they had much of a difference in pricing between Myers and Walmart. So that was all I got from Myers and Walmart. So not a lot, not a lot that I needed. Um, now the thing that I want to, things here, the things that are the one thing that I want to share with you guys the most, and I didn't open it up yet because I don't want my kids getting into it and I don't want them playing with it because I want it to be able to last all year. And I'm hoping that this year will benefit, the kids will benefit from it. I've never used one. Like I said before, I, um, we usually just work out of workbooks and I don't do, like chalkboard things with my kids 
but I'm fe thinking that this year with Nash and Lachlan, they're really gonna have a better learning experience if I have more visual stuff for them. And the one day I was at Hobby Lobby and I'm kind of looking around just for some other stuff, not even school stuff. And I came across a child's um, or a children's, let's see if I can show you guys. I'll just turn it sideways. So this is what I found. So on this side is the chalkboard and then on the other side is dry erase. And we have some um, chalk marker markers that I got from, oh man, I can't think of what the name was. If I remember, I'll leave it down below on the bottom of the screen there. This is probably the best purchase that we did this year. And this one was $120 and we got it for 60 some dollars at Hobby Lobby. So this is like our biggest priced um, supply that we got for this year, but it wasn't something that I needed. It was more of a want, but I'm really thinking the kids are gonna benefit from it, even Declan, or having them um, have more fun writing things down. Sometimes when you have kids that are just learning, they don't really wanna try that hard, or they just don't wanna write their name on paper, it's boring. And I'm hoping that with this, they can take turns or I can have a leader of the day and the kids can take over and do some stuff on here. So we'll see what we're gonna do with this, but you guys will see through the year what we're gonna do and some of the things that we're gonna tie in with that. In the beginning of the video, I showed you guys some of the stuff that I got for the kids and their supplies. I forgot to share with you guys something else that I got, but it came in the mail that night and I wasn't able to add it to the video right away that day. So this is like another day from then, but I wanna share with you because I have a child that holds a pencil the wrong way. He's, he's good with his penmanship and he's able to write the way he does. But I found these things on Facebook ads and it helps with kids that struggle with holding their pencil the right way. But before I want to show you, or before I show you that, I want to tell you guys that I told you I had Chocola markers for our chalkboard, but I also got some dry erase. When I was going through my supplies and stuff, I noticed that I also got some of these. I think they were like a dollar for like four of them or something like that. So, but we are like a week, weekend before school actually starts and I have a little bit of chaos behind me or in front of me, actually you just don't see it. I'm gonna show you in a second. Um, but the reason why is because I waited last minute to go through my homeschool stuff and decided something that I'm not gonna share with you right away because I wanna share with you in a different video on what I did. But I'm just gonna show you that first and then I'll show you um, what I wanna show you with Declan. So he's waiting for me, so I'm just gonna show you really quick. I showed you guys last year that a lot of times we put all our homeschool stuff in this cubby. And then we also have an area behind this curtain right here that we store like our stuff, um, like our supplies and stuff. Here, let me zoom out a little bit. And I always put it in there, but over there where that all that stuff is, we have crayons and paper and the twins school books and stuff. That's gonna all get changed and that is hopefully gonna be on another video and I will show you that. Hopefully I can maybe, anyways, sorry, I'm kind of rambling, but we're gonna be making something to put over there. So I'm excited and I will show you another time. That's gonna be fun. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to share it soon when we do our first day of school. So I'm, gonna come back to that area over there. But right here is where we put our homeschool stuff. And the other day I took all of their curriculum out and I'm gonna organize this because this is from last year and I just need to go through it and make sure that we have everything that we need. Um, so this is what this looks right now, but this will be all organized uh, hopefully today or tomorrow. And then I can get done with that. Nice. Turtle, 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 turtle. So, also got a fun package. 
If you guys are into oils and Young Living, uh, let me know and I can get you guys hooked up with that. All right, so Declan is going to come over here. He has no idea what we are going to do, right? No, this you don't. How I know. <laughs> okay, why don't you write a letter down on the paper the way you write normally? Okay, so you wrote a D? Yep. Okay, so hold your pencil again. Okay, so do you see how he holds it this way? I've tried many times to correct him on that, and he's just really comfortable with it. But I found these training pencil grip, and it's supposed to help um, teach kids how to use a pencil the right way. So I'm going to try to show you guys. Um, here, you might have to help me open that. Can you do it? It's kind of tricky. I don't know if you have to spin it or what we have to do. Oh, there you go. Oh. Okay. So they're silicone pieces. And what you do is you put a pencil inside. So put your pencil inside there and it should go all the way through. Is it? Push it on like grippy. Yeah, you gotta push it on like we do that grippy. There you go, nope, that's good. Okay, so this is what, can I show him what it looks like? Okay, this is what it's supposed to look like. So he needs to, so Declan, what you need to do is put your, your finger in like this, okay? So can you do that? Does that feel better? No. It's a little weird, it feels Did weird. You yeah, I think you gotta get used to it. But I thought that was really neat. And it's funny because if I would've saw this any other time, I would think it would be pretty useless. Um, what, you wanna try it too? I wanted to add that to the video just so you guys saw this little gadget, I love it. Um, I don't remember how much I paid. The ad was actually, I think, more than I paid on Amazon. So I did get these on Amazon. They're called Training Pencil Grip. Um, this was Bright Autism. Um, if I think of it, I'll leave a link down below and you guys can check that out. So hopefully you guys like that little add-on to this video. But um, so right now I just kind of got to get everything organized for school. Um, we have a board up here that we like to use for homeschooling and stuff. I want to probably change that out a little bit and then that's that area back there that i have a bunch of stuff that needs to um it's all kind of organized back there it's just i want something nice here so we're going to be doing something with that so you'll see that in another video